While unmanned systems have become more and more prevalent in all aspects of warfare, there seems to be one final frontier which has not, the fighter aircraft. We have seen unmanned recon aircraft, unmanned ground vehicles, even unmanned submarines. Fighter jets are absolutely the most difficult role to take out the man. They are moving and maneuvering at several hundred, even over a thousand kilometers per hour, pulling incredible Gs, need to have full awareness of its surroundings, and have to make split-second decisions on when and how to react. But just now, we are starting to see the very beginning of what will become unmanned fighter aircraft. No sponsor for this one, times are tough right now with everything going on, not just for me but I'm sure for many of you as well. However, I do have a Patreon set up, and I greatly appreciate it if you can consider supporting the channel on there if you're in a position to do so. It's a monthly donation, but there's also a PayPal link for a one-time donation. Even the lowest amount really helps out in continuing to create these videos. One person I'd like to personally thank is Keith D'Antonio. I try to mention supporters through Patreon at the end of each video, but I've lacked mentioning those from PayPal. So thank you Keith, and everyone else as well, it's a major help. The links are down in the description. This inherent difficulty in creating unmanned fighters is the reason why we don't see them yet today. To get them to work, you almost certainly need to incorporate artificial intelligence into it, as any remote operator will have that slight but vital delay in the time that it takes to send, receive, process, and perform the command that was sent. While artificial intelligence has come a long way, it's still a relatively immature technology. To act as well as a man fighter, you need to teach it how to act in every situation. For example, should you try to engage a target or not? What if it's only 75% positive that the target is an enemy? Or 80? Or 90%? What if another man fighter jet needs help? Should it break off and help, or stay and fight? There are a lot of problems and moral issues that can arise. If a fighter pilot makes a bad choice, you can easily hold him or her accountable. But if a computer does so, then who is responsible? The 2005 movie Stealth touched on a few of these problems, but as the technology improves, these issues will be figured out. We are already starting to see the next generation of drones being developed. At first, they were slow, propeller driven, and had very limited capabilities. Then things like Global Hawk put jet engines on board, making them much faster. These latest drones are now able to keep up with manned fighter jets. Things like the XQ-58 Valkyrie, Boeing's ATS for loyal wingmen, and others can reach top speeds of over a thousand kilometers per hour. They're stealthy, and clearly take on a shape much more akin to highly maneuverable fighter jets, instead of the more flying wing B-2 bomber shape we've been seeing from recent drones. For now, they are not armed with any air-to-air -air weapons, but that doesn't discount them. They will fly alongside manned strike fighter aircraft, and will be able to be controlled by the aircraft or AI. They will carry multiple sensors to help locate enemy targets or threats, while possibly keeping the manned aircraft out of sight. And if a threat appears, say they come upon an air defense system, and that system fires on it, it could possibly be used pretty much as a decoy, sacrificing itself to save the manned aircraft. It can carry electronic warfare packages, chaff and flare dispensers, and more. And all that for a tiny fraction of the cost of a full manned airframe. Boeing's ATS is part of a program called Loyal Wingman, and that's the perfect description of what these things will be. They will be an expendable wingman, without the risk of losing a pilot or expensive aircraft. It will fly alongside manned aircraft, carrying infrared search and track, or even air-to-air -air radars that can detect enemy aircraft and send that information over to the manned aircraft to attack. All without the manned aircraft having to have to turn on its own radar, which would alert the enemy to its presence. It's hard to overstate just how much of a game changer these are. In an age where manned aircraft are getting more and more expensive, this gives the nation a low cost option where you can afford to suffer some losses in combat, which would enable you to take on more risky missions. The plan is for these things to cost a couple million dollars each, compared to manned aircraft which are costing 50 times that. Now whether that will be possible is questionable. The Reaper drone itself cost over 25 million dollars. but. Either way, it will enable you to buy and operate many more aircraft. During World War II, at a certain point the US had over 50,000 fighter aircraft, and losing one or two, besides for the horrible loss of life obviously, doesn't have much of an effect on the bigger picture. Today, with few nations even operating more than 500 fighters, losing one or two can make a big difference when those aircraft are spread out then across the battle space and many down for maintenance. The drones we are all familiar with today, like the Reaper, are great for the role they are used in, but they won't be able to stand up to the modern battlefield. Their extremely slow speed and lack of agility means that they are sitting ducks for any air defense system. 
They also rely on an operator back home to control it, who has a very narrow field of view of its surroundings. The move to these quick, maneuverable, AI-controlled UAVs is a must to be a viable weapon in modern warfare. And going forward, you can easily imagine these will eventually be armed with air-to-air -air missiles themselves, turning them into full fighter jets. In fact, the Reaper has already shot down another drone in the air during a test back in 2017. And there have been several discussions about using drones to carry missiles for fighter jets. DARPA's flying missile rail concept, for example, would carry several AMRAMs, be controlled by the manned aircraft, and ordered to launch when needed. Either way, this is clearly the direction aerial combat is slowly heading. It won't be this year or next, but further down the line we will be seeing fully autonomous drones fighting in the skies, in the same manner we today think of man fighters.